Hello. In this video, we will explain another method for auto painting in stable diffusion and automatic 1111. For example, we generated this face picture. What we will do is copy it actually and go to a mess paint, for example, or Photoshop or anything. We place it in a canvas, for example, such as like this. We want to draw something around this picture and give it a body. Then we copy it and return back to uh, the drawing. In image to image, we paste it in image to image and we copy the same prompt from the image to image, uh, from text to image. Now we send the same picture directly to InPaint. So we don't need to do any processing in the image to image, for example. This is one of the methods, okay? It's very simple and very effective as well. It does not always give us what we want, but it's very useful. It's like generative fill in Photoshop as well. Now, after we, we fill the, the space here, we might get something that we don't want, for example, we can continue using InPaint to complete the picture in the way that we want. Often, we get good, we, we get good results from the first attempt, not always. Now we want to fill this area. What we will do is use Fill, not Original. Original is used for InPainting. Fill is better for outpainting, and we use the whole picture. This is better for outpainting. Now we get the dimension of the picture, Regarding this denoising level, we don't need to use the same seed, but it's possible as well. We can test it and see which is better. And we can use a suitable denoising level, such as 0 0.75, then generate. Now, the size of the image is slightly large. This is why uh, it's difficult to generate the picture if you ha if we have a lower um, uh, amount. This is why uh, this method is not very effective for uh, very large images. But it's very easy and very simple as well. Like we see from the first, uh, first attempt, we got a good picture. Now we can see a, a small line here, for example. We can actually go back to paint, for example, in paint, and do something like this to smooth it out. To smooth these lines out, we use only the mask, and we use original, and we reduce the denoising level, which will allow a smooth changes in this section only. Now, uh, we could use a smaller size, but it's okay. Like we see, this uh, the change that happened is, uh, is gone, but there's a problem here because we have a person in this area, for example, or it's like uh, a different street or something. But in general, this is the method in general, okay? So, we can do something like this, actually, just and generate to remove this person and this car. Okay, it's not very good because we have a low denoising level and it uses original. So, it's better to use whole picture once again. So now the person and the cars are gone, which is what we want. This looks like a good picture in general. Okay, uh, this method is very simple, is very effective as well, and uh, does not require additional extensions, but it uses additional programs. Now there are other methods. For example, we can use the canvas here to try to, try to expand the image, but this is not very effective because this feature is not well programmed in Stable Diffusion yet. We will explain later how uh, outpainting using control net is done, which is the most effective method. And we have more control over uh, the, the image, but it's a little bit slower and uh, requires more steps, for example, sometimes. This method is slightly quick and effective. Have a good day.